Today's a fun one. We've got a comparison of three low spin drivers here in 2023. The Paradigm Triple Diamond, the ZX5 Mark II, and the Cobra Aerojet LS. We'll test all three on track, man, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments which of these three low spin models is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Cameron Fitzer, Master Club Fitter here at the Minnetonka store. And we're in the tour van with three new drivers for 2023, low spin models, Cameron. Yep. And so, I mean, we have Cobra, we have Shrixon, we have Callaway, kind of a, a unique set of brands there. But mm -hmm. I think to me, what, what is most intriguing is Shrixon's kind yep. of entering this kind of low spin space yep. for drivers with this ZX5 Mark II LS model. Yeah, I think this is definitely intriguing as well, especially from a fitting perspective where obviously we're trying to cater to that individual player for sure. Right. Um, and this is kind of the incorporation of low spin properties into a mm -hmm. more forgiving head style, which I think there's a lot of players for sure that can benefit from that style head. And really being that they only had two models previously, this one more than likely sits right between them where you get right. the forgiveness of the ZX5, but maybe like your, your lower spin property right. of, a, of a seven head. So right. really cool there. Yeah, and I think also worth noting, so it, there, each of these kind of brands has changed something up a little bit because I like the Paradigm, you know, they don't have that Max LS model right. anymore. Um, there, I think, was Epic Max and then there was Rogue ST Max LS. Yep. Um, so now instead, the kind of the low spin model is the Triple Diamond, right. which in the past has actually been just kind of a tour only little, you know, uh, a design specific for tour. Right. Um, but instead, the Triple Diamond is now kind of the, the popular low spin model in the series uh, so i imagine there's some more forgiveness packed in there as well right um we'll see but i think i think you commented too the look of this thing is is really nice looks really good yeah kind of clean a little bit of like dark blue going on but it's not necessarily to a point where it's off-putting right Just sleek clean mm -hmm. looks really good and then uh we got to talk about aerojet as well yeah um, i guess when i look at aerojet here um i just see how clean the bottom of the club is yep. and i know they're looking they're going for the aerodynamic and um, with the shaping and all of that and I think they've accomplished that really with how clean the sole of this club right. is. Right, definitely. Yeah, Cobra always good stuff on the drivers. Um, really one of the faster drivers that comes to market pretty much every year yeah. for, for that matter and kind of a, a clean look here as you, you said, definitely appealing to a lot of players mm -hmm. as well. So today I'll be hitting the shots. Uh, we've got the extra stiff shafts, kind of the stock models with each brand. So for Paradigm uh, and for the Aerojet, it is the Kylie White. Uh, 70X, and then for the uh, Mark II LS, we've got the Hazardous Smoke Black Generation 4. Uh, so should be some good testing today. Yeah. Uh, probably some some distance. I'm going to be swinging. We'll see how good I can swing today. Yeah. But, um, I'm ex I'm anticipating some explosiveness out of these three models here. Definitely, I, I think that's exactly what we could expect. Some low spin bombs, some high ball speeds, a lot of a lot of long drives today. All right, let's get after it. Cool. more open that is just stupid i can't believe i actually didn't go farther right yeah definitely a little higher pitch that's the launched lower too i felt like That's a good ball. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. hit really well all right Cameron uh, testing complete there five good shots with each one um, first of all I kind of wanted to get your perspective from here behind the desk yep. on the sound of things yeah uh, so the three drivers uh, I kind of have my own yeah what I thought I heard over there but mm -hmm. uh, 
I'm kind of wonder if it agrees with what you've heard. Yeah, to be honest, uh, I'd say in terms of sound, like similarities, Aerojet LS and Paradigm Triple Diamond were probably the most okay. similar between like the, the three. Yeah. And really the standout for me, from what I could tell from a sound perspective, ZX-5 in the LS was just a louder, mm -hmm. kind of higher pitch sound for sure. Yeah, I think I thought that too, and it did seem a little bit firmer as well on the feel. Mm -hmm. um, but on the, on the, you know, the other side of the coin is that I do like the, I'm a matte finish right. crown driver kind of guy. Yep. And so I see this matte, I mean, that's a really clean look, um, mm -hmm. very kind of subtle alignment aid there. I like the look of the Shark Sun driver the best, yeah. despite, um, again, and that's all player preference on the feel and the sound and yep. everything. But it was, I think, the loudest and perhaps the most firm feel. Yeah, you kind of commented on the, the head size and shape of that one compared to the others as well, too. Right. Yeah, it definitely just appeared larger at address, mm -hmm. um, a little larger footprint than the other two. Again, we're testing low spin heads, so right. um, it's they're going to be compact head shapes. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of the tweener between really everything was the Aerojet LS to me in terms of yeah. the aesthetics and the sound. Um, I thought it was right in between the two. I thought the head shape was in the between the two in terms of the size. Yep. Um, not super pear shaped, but I think there's still enough forgiveness in there. And you noted too in testing. So we have the there's there's the you know the two, the heel and the toe weight here in the bottom. Yep. It's actually set in the toe setting, which stay tuned because that might be kind of a funny you know revelation right. yeah. uh, based on where I hit the golf balls with this driver. Um, so I kind of thought it was it's just kind of in between there sound. Mm -hmm feel and the, the whole thing and I read yeah. between because then the triple diamond here clearly to me is the most compact head shape yep uh, just very much kind of a little bit I'm also a step further as a player's driver than these two yep uh, I thought it was even maybe a little less forgiving as well on mm -hmm. the tee shots which is uh, again these are drivers for somebody that either swings really fast or um, can work the ball and hits the ball right here at the yeah. same time so um, that, that was kind of my feedback on just look and feel of all of these right there. And you, I know you kind of comment on the look of this before too. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, honestly, Cobra looks really good. Strix I don't have any complaints with, with any of these mm -hmm. heads necessarily. Um, I, I'd say performance, we definitely noticed some differences there as well too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think biggest thing that I noticed right away was just like launch differences between them. Yeah. The, the one that really stood out there was that LS Aerojet from, from Cobra really launched significantly higher than the other mm -hmm. two models for sure. For you, because it didn't necessarily spin more than the other models, it just equated right. to more distance, which is kind of cool as well. Yeah. Always looking for that high launch, low spin, any way we can get it. So um, I think that's intriguing for sure. Yeah, I think with that Aerojet, um, it was very consistent for me. Um, mm -hmm. It was very easy for me to just step in and hit, I think I hit five shots that were more or less at the same spot. Right. Uh, we'll pull up that dispersion in a second, but the spin, you can see how consistent that was, mm -hmm. just under 2,000. You mentioned the launch difference. It was launching high with that low spin, which is kind of that that combination that's so elusive for these manufacturers to get to. Um, so it did end up being the longest total in yep. terms of, well, longest and, and the carry as well. So um, it was probably the most consistent in this test. Yeah. Uh, perhaps maybe some extra forgiveness in there as well was kind of helping me out. Uh, and then on the flip side of that, we have the ZX-5 LS yep. Mark II, which was almost on the opposite end of the spectrum, lower launching, lower right. flight. Right. Um, and the spin was actually not that different overall, mm -hmm. but it was just getting to that distance a different way, a little bit lower launch. Right. So uh, curious if that continues in the fitting bays yeah. with you know what we see here, but just from my experience, I mean, definitely a difference there. And you mentioned, you know, the launch angle is different, landing angle, the whole thing is different. It's almost like a completely different, different type performing of driver. driver for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we saw all kinds of different performance metrics there. Based on like between these two models, we saw a significantly lower lower launch there. Mm -hmm. Spin was in a similar window. So again, kind of a case where you've got two head styles that really cater to different players in that aspect right. for sure. And the last one was this triple diamond, which I I have to think, based on this this data and also the way just it kind of felt is the fastest mm -hmm. um, overall in, I mean, I hit one five zero smash. Yep. Um, again, I, I will note too, the spin might not be completely correct. It just, for whatever reason, it was italicized. Yeah. Um, not quite picking up the spin, maybe exactly correct. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we can see in terms of the ball speed, a slight to uptick there, mm -hmm. just more efficient on the strike. And then um, we saw kind of that more ideal window with height. Yep. You're not too high or too low. You're kind of closer to the, in the middle there. So, um, and then, we lastly, we have to bring up the dispersion because yeah. I noted about the Aerojet LS in that draw setting, and you can see that that white oval it's out there. I was very consistently right side, yeah. finding kind of, you know, what, 25, 30 yards right of center, which, mm -hmm. you know, 
in theory, you take the draw, the draw weight and, and set that up in the, right. in the heel, you know, and fix that. But maybe I would need another adjustment as a fitter. You'd probably go, right. go yeah, to the hosel I mean, next. we still got the hosel adjustment <laughs> yeah. exactly like you said. Honestly, I don't hate it, though, even though we are kind of right edge of the fairway. The fact yeah. of the matter is it did the same thing every time. And I right. think from a, a fitting perspective, that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, Obviously, direction is something we could always figure out, and different shot or different different holes require different yeah. shot shapes, and, and you to play different shots. It, this, to me, just from a consistency aspect, was still really good. Yeah, and then so in the this, the Strixon oval looks kind of a lot larger. I think part of that is because we're on carry right now, and mm -hmm. if you were to switch it to total, you'd see this like lower circle here would actually go a little bit further up the screen. We can actually do that right here. Yeah, we can see how that's a little kind bit more even up across on the, the total board. Distance, yeah. Yep. yeah, but. Um, and then I, I think we also see too, I think, and you probably have seen this in the fittings as well, but these low spin drivers, a lot of them do have a subtle fade bias in yep. them. Um, uh, granted today, the Aerojet for me didn't actually because of the weight setting, but like right. the triple diamond, you'll probably see with the Aerojet LS, you'll see it with like Stealth 2 Plus, you'll mm -hmm. see it with these these models, there is probably a subtle fade bias that golfers should be aware of. Yeah, definitely. Uh, kind of comes down to head shape as well as kind of center of gravity location. Mm -hmm. A lot of those models that have center of gravity closer to the face are going to be models that are harder to turn over. Appeals to the better player in that sense, as well as kind of being the, the harder to hit or, or less, less forgiving yeah. models in that sense as well, too. Yeah. So before we kind of sign off, I just wanted to ask you one more thing, too. Mm -hmm. um, these three drivers, I mean, I, I, I have the speed probably capable of playing them. Uh, right. I probably want some more forgiveness for myself a little bit. But, yeah. So talk about just maybe the player that would best be fit into these, like maybe like your, yep. your fittings over the spring and summer. Uh, what type of player are you probably going to fit into any of these three models? Yeah, yeah. so I'd probably start with the ZX-5 Mark II and the LS. So that one for sure. We saw low spin, but we also saw lower launch compared to the other yeah. models as well too. It was definitely fast, so no question, it kind of kept up with these other models in terms of all speed. But really, it would be for the player where we're trying to bring that flight down and trying to bring yeah, that spin down right, for sure. Right. Um, I'd say other end of the spectrum, Cobra definitely still lower spin in yeah. the LS, but significantly higher launch. So yeah. if it is a case where we're trying to get that higher launch as well as a combination of low spin as well too, yeah. to me, I would be more biased or, or kind of lean in that way to, yeah. to put it in a player's hands. Mm -hmm. And then Triple Diamond kind of being the, the demanding one for sure, where we really got to right. strike it out of the center of the face. As you alluded to, one of the faster ones on our, our good swings for sure. Um, but really, you, you need that, that guy mm -hmm. who hits the center of the face more often than not and is looking for, for those shots right. to come out in a, a certain window for sure. So Right. I mean, there's a reason the Triple Diamond kind of concept started with Callaway going to their top tour pros and yep. saying, we, they, here's something for you guys uh, that gives you the workability and the the performance that you need. Mm -hmm. um, so, but fun test here today. Yeah. Um, I think we saw some some similarities, right? Low spin, kind of some explosiveness, but mm -hmm. ultimately launch and spin was very different uh, throughout. So, um, golfers, these low spin models are available in the fitting bays at Second Swing. Schedule that fitting. Get with someone like Cameron here, an expert that will take care of you. Make sure you're hitting longer, straighter tee shots, and then uh, ultimately playing better golf, Cameron. Right? Definitely. So, um, thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for more comparisons in the future, and we'll see you next time.